After a very tough year for Huawei, things are starting to look good if you're a fan of Huawei phones. Here are the three things that have just happened that means that things are starting to look up for Huawei. Huawei can do business again with ARM. So when the news first broke about Google cutting business ties with Huawei, it was big news. But in fact, as an issue, that was low on the list. What was a huge blow for Huawei was the news that ARM had to stop doing business with them. Huawei's high silicon division provides chipsets for a growing majority of Huawei phones. And increasingly, not just Huawei's flagship phones, but mid-range and budget phones are relying on Kirin chipsets from the high silicon division. However, those chips are based on ARM architectures. Even though ARM is originally a UK-based company, they do conduct business in America and so initially thought that they too were affected and were in breach of the US trade rules. The recent news a few days ago that ARM had taken the decision that actually they are not in breach of any rules and can in fact supply Huawei with their architectures again, didn't see much press attention but it's absolutely massive news. But for now at least, ARM has made the decision that it can supply its V8 and V9 architectures going forward for Huawei. Huawei are investing big in Huawei mobile services. Harmony OS gets all the headlines and it is a big deal, but in fact, operating systems take a very long time to develop and even longer to perfect with feedback from users around the world. But all of this is fairly insignificant. What is actually important for Huawei is its mobile services. Huawei can use the open source version of Android, but it's Google mobile services that consumers miss. And so Huawei has focused heavily on essentially replacing those services with its own version. Fundamental apps we use every day, for example, Google Maps, Google Mail, Google Cloud can't be used and Huawei need a viable alternative. So that's why Huawei have recently traveled across the world to major cities to attract developers to develop apps and code for the core Huawei mobile services. Harmony OS will get headlines, but in reality, it's fairly insignificant in this story. Huawei have 14 key services that they call kits. They need app developers to concentrate on building services around those kits and have even offered a bounty of a billion US dollars to attract developers and set up key development hubs in six cities around the world. If Huawei can develop a suite of genuinely useful apps and services, including their own app store, then it could act as the springboard to actually keep and even attract new customers. Despite the US ban, Huawei sales are still growing as strong as ever. They sold over 185 million smartphones this year, with Run Zhengfei saying that they are on course to produce 270 million smartphones in 2019, with the expectation that they will sell the vast majority of those. Huawei is facing some tough problems worldwide. The Mate 30, which is Huawei's biggest flagship release, has not gone on sale in its second biggest market, Europe. And that is where that phone is sold at a significantly higher price than its home market in China. People pay around 30% more for the same phone in Europe than they do in China, and that is a lot of margin left on the table. This also leaves a question over the upcoming flagship phones in the P40 series. If Huawei aren't selling the Mate 30 series, Will they even bother with the P40 series in Europe? Sales figures are also boosted massively by their increasing dominance in their home market. Huawei is absolutely crushing regional players in mainland China. And really that dominance in China has served as the backstop for Huawei to rely on with its ever increasing troubles abroad. And with the incredibly large parachute that is China mainland sales, Huawei have the ability to invest billions of dollars creating their own ecosystem to again sell phones worldwide. Subscribe for the latest tech news and everything to do with Huawei. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.